All right, guys, what's up? Just one more day here at the Masters World Championship. This is day two of the Masters World Championship. Masters two, Masters three, black boats going, still loaded up on the stage. What are you looking forward to most here at Chase today? Man, it's been already one of my favorite events of Masters Worlds. It's, it's so fun, and today we've got a bunch of the elite 35-year-olds and up. We're gonna see Josh Hinger, Flavio Almeida, Cyborg's coming out today, Wow! and a whole bunch of guys. Bruno Bassos is here. It's some of the elite, and we're gonna see a lot of good stand-up wars, some judo, some great takedowns. I'm super pumped. As always, man, Masters, these guys bring it. I'm super excited. We also have a bunch of seminars going on today. I know Homola Bahal, Bushesha is going to be teaching. Leo Vieira as well, right? Leo Vieira will be teaching a seminar as well. Today is going to be a stacked day of jiu-jitsu competition. I cannot wait for it. Let's get to the highlights. out by Alex Martins in that last match there. It was a close one. It's kind of cool, right? That um, they can go head to head like that. Absolutely crazy match. Practically kill each other, like flying off the mats. And yet, after the match, they're lying there, smiling, shaking hands. It's pretty cool to see. It's Masters Worlds, right? It's Masters Worlds, man. That's what it's about. All right, that's enough highlights for one vlog. 
Also, at the Masters World Championships, one of my favorite parts about coming here is just the atmosphere. It's just all the other people that are around. There's so many jiu-jitsu celebrities, so many guys who are competing, right, and who are just hanging out. People are doing seminars over in the corner. So let's go around, let's go see if we can find, see if we can talk to a few people around here, and uh, maybe go check out one of those seminars and uh, see what else is going on beyond the competition out here. Let's do it. What's up? How you doing? How's it going? the house. How's the seminar going? <laughs> seminar going great, man. He's a great turnout. I always try to put everybody, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's a good turnout. People have a good energy, you know? Way to learn. I'm basically to be here. You know, just to be here and then have this energy is always nice, you know? So, always, always fun. <laughs> awesome. We are here, Master Worlds. Just finished my seminar. Great people, great energy. Every day! Oh! Thank you, guys. It's a showcase, it's not just a tournament, but we have you know all these boots, you know, with you know these new geese, new uh, uh full violence, you know me, I mean? uh, max, you know what I mean? You see all these people, I love it. This is, I think is what make me uh but I, I love being involved with the audience, man. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing, you know, how Jiu Jitsu uh, grow. You know what I mean? I'm from a generation where we don't even have, you know, a, a tournament at all. You have one, two tournaments a year. Today's days, you have a thousand tournaments a year. It's like, it's amazing. I love, I love this. Yeah, it's just an amazing network of people. You know, I come and I was telling my friend that uh, we, we meet people from all over the US, all over the world, really, right, with academies. and and the competitors, so just in one place, it's just like a huge, it's that melting pot of jiu-jitsu, right? Everybody comes. Uh, it's always, I always see the old people from the, from the back the days, you know, when we start this in Brazil, you know, I have three hours tournament, I always talk to, to, the, to the old school guys, you know, like the old school guys, you know, like, we compete in like two areas in Brazil, it's just like, met one, met two, that's it. And today coming here has 20 areas, it's, it's nice to see like people that stick around the sport, doing well, you know, and, they come here and participate in this big show is it's very nice. It's always nice, you know, see people over here, maybe help me with something, you know. You know, when I was 14, 15, said for me, hey kid, good fight. And it was the Marius Perry or Marie Tet. You know what I mean? I say, whoa, thank you, love. And, and then after that, become my partner training, become my friend. And today, you see the guys competing. It's always really nice. I didn't compete this year. Hope for the next year. The energy is very different than the energy of uh, the world's adults. And it's normal because they're all young kids and they're all like, you know, they want to prove something. It's kind of more like a tough thing. I had my face like that too, so I don't know how it is. Now here, it's a tough competition. It's amazing. Some of the names you saw, they're legendary names, but uh, it's more relaxed. It's more like the community of Jiu-Jitsu getting together. Man, I cannot even walk 10 steps without shaking somebody's hand or take a picture of somebody. Man, I feel it's like it's, it's my tribe. You know, I'm in the middle of my tribe. I get even goosebumps, man. I love Jiu Jitsu and I love the community. You know, these are like real people. They're not like, you know, your hard nosed athletes. These are just everyday people that love the sport of Jiu Jitsu, that love martial arts, that love the lifestyle. And I, I love that atmosphere. And then we have even Master Seven. Master Seven, man. You know, you believe that Master Seven. So if you like Jiu Jitsu, if you like to do this, you do this forever, man. You don't need to stop. You know what I mean? You go do your own age. It's, it's a great thing. I, I love it, man. I love it. I think Jiu Jitsu getting a level like, you know, no other sport getting. Because what another sport, you know, offer you with six years old, 65 years old to be able to compete? I don't think I have another sport have, you know, that kind of, you know I mean, uh, division. Thanks so much, Megan. What's up? Thanks, man. Good to see you, dude.